Um, so here is Gary V, right? Yeah, and once in a while he'll say something profound. That it just, <laughs> but it's, like I personally think this guy is kind of a psychopath, and is. and a lot of shit he says makes no sense. And it's like this stuff that he'll say that if you're not really thinking about it critically, it sounds, sounds pretty good. It sounds vaguely yeah. profound or yeah. inspiring. But then, I mean, like, all right, just play this one, we'll, and I'll show you sure. what I mean. Um, this is an example of something he said. That Who I do you love the most in the world? My family. Good. Who in your family? Pick one. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're very politically correct. Cool. Clever. Every day, make in the in like literally once a day, genuinely sit there for five minutes and make pretend one of them got shot in the face. <laughs> No, how about you don't? Hey, how about you? Because you know what? All right. One what? day, one day, you're gonna have to deal with the tragedy involving your family. That's you're gonna have plenty of that in life. Don't sit there spending yeah. every happy day just imagining it happening. Don't do that. But but he says stuff like that, and then so you know, I guess the overall point, and there is more to it. We can mm -hmm. we can. We I can just watch like it, to but, stop it there because yeah, it's. Such it's such a ass. weird thing to say to a stranger. Yeah. Just imagine. Every and this lady's day. just like, uh huh. Okay. Uh, um, and then they put that music behind it, and you're supposed to be like, man, this guy is a fucking yeah. forward thinker. This guy, yeah. this guy is. But look at his face, too. Yeah, he's completely serious. He's, I think he's a sociopath or something. Well, I don't obviously. know. Obviously. I mean, I might not be I the best that... to make psychological diagnoses, <laughs> yeah. but. Yeah, um, we'll have to get a sample of his feces. Yeah, if he would send well, me that. <laughs> yeah, we got to figure this out. Gary V, yeah. if you happen to see the catch this episode, just uh, send us in a little of your poop, that and is, we're going to do a little analysis that and is see like why a, you are, why you are. That's like an 1800. Uh, carnival talent that I have. Like, yeah, I can examine. I can step it. right up, examine anyone's fecal <laughs> matter, and tell you your psychological deficiencies. Ma'am, <laughs> drop trow and give me a little of your yes. a little sample of your stool. Ah, she's, she's like, a megalomaniac. What? Yeah. Ooh, she's in love with me, <laughs> Miss. I'll talk to you later. Ha ha. Right. <laughs> um. So yeah, let's. That's uh, a great character. Uh, yeah, so let's. <laughs> yeah, that is. We should bring that back. I'm being dead serious with you. Every single day. Yeah, I know you are. I. Almost, I said this today earlier, I probably once a week to four times a week sit there truly in the shower on a flight when I wake up. Jerking off. Yeah, <laughs> it just takes a wild yeah. turn. He's like, like yeah. feverishly yeah. masturbate into the idea of my dead family. I sit there on, <laughs> I sit there on an airplane before it takes off and I slowly push needles into the bottoms of my feet just to feel alive. Ah! Like, what? Starts fucking running. Yeah. <laughs> Some people meditate. Hey, don't right? fucking quote. Some people work out. Hey, don't. Right? To deal with whatever anxieties or thoughts they have. I. Yeah. Order. How much you want to bet in other times he'll say that he meditates and works oh, out all the time? He does. And, that's, yeah, yeah. Like, um, and also, you work out to fucking be healthy. He's just. Not to he's, work on he's other things. He's always spitballing with an irritating level of confidence. That's mm -hmm. what I mean by like, maybe it's not sociopathic, but it's like. That's annoying. It's detached. It's, a, it's just weird. Yeah. But yeah, I want to hear how he finishes this because he's going to claim that this is really his path to yes. peace. Like, All right. Yeah. I actually sit and truly try to convince myself that I have lost Wait. one of the five most important people in my life. He doesn't do this. And that is the biggest thing I do that leads to the biggest happiness I have. Yeah, bullshit. Um, he's, that, that's what, like, okay, what a psychotic thing to suggest. You're lying. First of all, yeah, to, like, I, I under, and, it, and it's such a convoluted way to present the idea of learn to appreciate what you have. That's really what he's getting at. Yeah. It's like, like, be appreciative of your loved ones. Yeah, that's, that's a real, it's a real like, weird uh, gratitude exercise is imagining it's everyone dead. It's not really, look. Extremely dramatic, yeah. So, um, you know, there's like the uh, sort of uh, new agey type of like try to, you know, raise your vibration or have positive, all that shit. So it doesn't fit in any of that, obviously. And then you have like actual psychological, like psychoanalysis and, and psychotherapy, which also says do not dwell on or, or don't purposefully think of negative shit. You know what I mean? Like sure. you have to, you have to, if you have to deal with it, that's different, but don't manufacture. I guarantee it. you that's called a, anxiety. I guarantee you there's <laughs> another video of him going like, I don't want to have negative thoughts. Negative thoughts can manifest in <laughs> negative things. And I, I guarantee you, he just contradicts yeah. himself all the yeah. time about this. Now, I uh, do like Gary Vee, though. I don't. I, I do. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't know a lot about him, but I remember he was like on Rogan years ago, and I've seen him on a few uh, podcasts and stuff. And he's, he seems genuinely. I think at this point, though, it's like you've said what you've had. 
and now you're just kind of stretching with this shit. He also does, he has to stay relevant. He does and, a thing that you know. really irritates me about like there. I don't know how many videos. Excuse me. I've seen of him where he's going. You're broke. Well, there's no excuse to be broke. Go out to the, <laughs> go out to the thrift store. Look up sold items on eBay. Find out what's selling. Find blah, 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 blah. And it's like, dude, I've done that for a living. And yeah, you Vinny know, has done that. It's a lot of work. I, you know, at one time, yeah, most of my money came from just reselling and picking and stuff. Um, oh, which is another thing that we can get into too, because there's some whole uh, rewriting of tax yes, legislation true. about that stuff. But. Um, but yeah, no. So he he'll he'll make these videos where he's like, "Look, I bought these seven Nintendo DS games at this garage sale for two dollars each. They sell for like seven to twelve dollars each online." It's like, okay, so after three weeks, when you finally sell them all and yeah. ship them out, hey, if, I if, can eat if you ever even sell them because that's <laughs> yeah. a lot harder than he fucking makes it. And then it's like, then you made thirty five dollars before taxes and fucking fees. Yeah. And it's like, dude, and he always does does these things about a like windfall of cash. Po- poverty is a choice. You just got to get out there and. T- it's like, dude, I mean, I agree with that, that point. Yeah, it's cool. Well, you do. might as well try, but it's fucking. Yeah, I mean, I just think it's a flawed method. He's always, he's always acting like this going out and reselling stuff is going to be this, like, path out of poverty. Yeah, and that was one of his big 99% things. 99% of the time, not going to be that. You have to get pretty goddamn lucky. I, but. I, de- I definitely knew people when he was, like, kind of new on the scene that were rummaging through their storage in attic and basement looking because they're like, Gary V said I got a million dollars in my house. It's like, dude, believe me. I just started doing eBay. I again. was one of those people. Yeah. I started doing eBay again a few <laughs> weeks ago and I had a shitload of inventory from the last time I was doing it that I had just kept around records and whatever else. And I'm immediately reminded after like two, three weeks or whatever, I've made like four hundred and fifty dollars. Mm. You know what I mean? And I'm mm. like, and I've like, wow, this sucks. In line at the post office, <laughs> wrapping shit up and, and yeah. whatever. I'm like, dude. And then it's like, it, it it becomes a thing where like you're not even sure how much time you spent on any of this, and it, it's also like you it's there all the time, so you don't ever really even feel like you're not doing it because you're yeah. always like looking at something or. Looking at an offer or whatever, so it's full it's time a, job. Brother. And then you look, I, I like the amount of work I feel like I've done. And then I look, I'm like, oh shit, four hundred fifty dollars, <laughs> huh? Minus fees, taxes, PayPal, whatever. You know, I'm like, yeah. okay, uh, like all right, fuck this. Anyone? Fuck need you, any, uh, Gary V. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you let me run your liquor store like your dad let you run your his liquor store? And then you fucking switched where the wine was, and you became a millionaire. His whole story is so stupid. Yeah. You know, like what did I do? So I sat there. And I and I and I looked up what wines are selling and what price. Yeah, you run a store. Yeah, you look the prices do. of stuff up and what you could yeah, sell. Yeah, you like, displayed them pro- more prominently. <laughs> Dude, yeah, Good job. Exactly. He's amazing. That yeah, guy. that is He's fucking, fucking amazing. Cutting um, edge marketing. Uh, 